Hello, I'm the Budget Muddler and this is episode 62 of my King Tiger and Berg Panzer diorama build. If you're watching this, then please subscribe to my channel, give the video a like, leave a comment and ring my bell. That'd be brill. Thank you. Right, let's get straight into it, shall we? We've prepped the figures for priming and now we're going to pop them on a piece of plastic and do them on mass. We put a bit of double sided sticky tape down on that plastic and then pop the figures on there to hold them in place. So without further ado let's crank up the speedy uppy thing and crack on. There they go, off for priming. And then, as if by magic, they've been primed and had the zenithal highlight done, ready for painting. Here we have three crew members ready for painting. I'll be using AK Interactive's Panzer Crew Black Uniform set with this. So we'll line the paints up in order and crack on. The Panzer Crew Black Uniform set is from AK Interactive, as I've already said, but I forgot to say it's AK3001. So if you want to get it, that's what you get. Uh, the first colour we're going to use is the base colour, which is AK3002 Black Uniform Base. So here we go with that. Next up are the mechanics. I did a bit of research and these guys wore a mixture of colours. Panzer black, usually trousers, German field grey for shirts and mid blue for trousers or jumpers or whatever. But we'll come to the other colours later. So let's crack on and get these mechanics painted in Panzer black. Thank you. 
There we go, that's the mechs done. We'll pop those over there and let them dry. Now back to the crew to see how badly painted they were and to give them a quick touch up. Okay, so that's the touch ups done and we'll let those dry and as if by magic they've already dried. Now we can continue with highlight colours. We'll be starting with AK3003 black uniform light base. With this we'll be dry brushing it so here we go with that. Oh good god this bleeding camera. I can't sort out the zoom. It's either focusing on everything or bloody nothing. Anyway, it's coming along quite nicely. I'm happy. There we go, that's the crew done. Now for the mechs. There we go, that's AK3003 black uniform light base dry brushed on. The next one, AK3004 black uniform dark light, yeah, I'm confused too, will also be dry brushing. Anywho, let's crack on, shall we? Okay, so there's all the dry brushing done. Next, a wash. I'm going to use AK3006 Black Uniform Dark Shadow mixed with Game Wash 73.203 Umber Wash and then heavily thinned down with my homebrew acrylic thinners. So let's get this lot washed, shall we? And there's the washing done. They need to be popped to one side to dry, apart from one crew member. As next up, we're doing desert yellow for the crew member and his trousers and the guard. So let's get them sorted, shall we?
they can now go and dry off. Next up we can get some colour on the mechs. XF18 medium blue from Tamiya and Vallejo Panzer Aces 338 field grey. So let's get some more painting done. So there we have all the mechs painted in Tamiya's XF18 medium blue. So we can pop those over there to dry. Anywho, this seems like a good a place as any to end. So thank you for watching episode 62. If you want to see what happens in episode 63, me playing with Lego, then please subscribe to my channel, help it grow, like the video, leave a comment and ring my bell. Remember folks, stay safe, keep on modelling. <laughs>